Hello everyone, welcome back. And in this video, we're going to talk about how to fix forever skies is having crashing issue. It is not launching, won't launch, freezing and stuttering, low FPS drop, stuck or loading screen, and even many more issues, including the black screen, and how we can fix this app. So let's dive into the workaround. The first one is all about we have to start with a simple restart. For that, we just need to go over here in the start. Just click on this one, go for a restart. Once restart is being done, we just need to try launch the game. That's what we have to do. This is the first step. If this is not working, we have to move to the next step. That is all about we need to verify integrity of game file. For this, we just need to go over here. We just need to right click and go to properties. Go to install it file. Just click on verify integrity of game file. So this is actually an important step. So what happens is if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing, all these kind of issues will be in this this will be fixed by this particular step because sometimes if any files maybe get corrupted or you know uh, maybe we'll be having an issue with you know if any files may be uh, missing as well so that might cause the issue so we need to cross check whether they're, they're having any kind of issue with any files if those we have to fix this up so uh, we need to try this up that's going to fix this particular one so this is going to take a little bit of time. So we just need to wait for this to reach 100 percentage. Once reach 100 percentage, we just need to get the play button and we need to play the game once again. And that's what we have to do. So verify integrity of game file is actually an important step. So as you can see, all the 480 files which successfully validated, which means we're good to go. There is no issue with this. Just try launching the game. After this, if it's still not working, we have to move to the next step. That is, we need to launch we need to do is we just to launch the game but not from the steam but from the installation folder so try launching the game from installation folder for this we just need to go over here on the game right click and go to properties go to install it file just click on the browse so what happens is we'll be getting the folder so over here if you check at the top that is this pc local disk c program file x86 steam steam apps common forever skies now from here we just need to launch the application so this is the dot uh, this is the main file so just launch the file from here and see whether the issue is solved or not of or not if we have to move to the next step that is all about nothing but we need to run the game as an administrator so hence we are in the installation folder i can show you from here itself so just click on this particular one right click and go to properties go to properties over here go to compatibility now click on run this program as an administrator. This is an important step. So just go for apply and go for OK. So try launching the game. So that's an important one. Try launch the game as setting this as an administrator. This did work out for many users so you can try this out. Next one is all about we need to run the game in the compatibility mode. For this we just need to go over here right click. Go to show more options. Go to properties. Compatibility. Now just go to compatibility. Okay. Now from here, we just need to go to compatibility mode, then select this one, run this program in compatibility mode, select this one, go for Windows 7, this is the first one, we have to go for Windows 7, go for apply and go for OK. If Windows 7 is not working, change this to Windows 8, change this to Windows 8, go for apply and go for OK and try launch the game. That's an important step. So this is very important step, most probably. This has to be worked, but if still you are having the issue, we need to move to the next step. That is, we need to set the win language of Windows in English or make sure it is in English. So some users might be playing the game with, you know, uh, setting up the language, maybe in native language of there, for example, Chinese, Japanese, Arabic, German, French, etc. So that might cause the issue. So just set the language in English for the just go over here in the search, go for settings, go to time and language, go to language and region. Now from here, we can see this, just click on the add language, search for the language. So here we need the language in English, so just search for the language. Once you set the language over here, once you set the language in English, now we just need to make sure the country origin is correct as well. So if you're from India, just set the language in, uh, from, I mean if you're from India, so select the country for, that you, location should be India. So the country or geography should be correct. And go back, go to the date and time over here, make sure time and time zone should be turned on. Most users might be turning this off, so that might cause the issue. So turn this on, both the things has to be turned on. Just close this and go back and launch the game. 
Next one is all about, we need to go with launch the game and you have to use Alt and Tab. So just click on the play button, press Alt and Tab from the keyboard. That's an important step. So for many users, in my knowledge, did work it. I found this stuff from the community, community Steam community. So just, uh, you know, press Alt and Tab while clicking on the play button. That's going to help you guys out for sure. Next step is all about, you can try with deleting the saved game file. For this, we just need to go over here, go to the file explorer. Now from here, go to this PC, go to documents. And if you find the folder over here, you will be finding the folder. So the folder should be, if you find the folder on this one, you just need to delete the folder because down the road, when you're playing the game, you're saving the game, you'll be getting a folder here. So just delete the respective folder that will be losing all the progressions, but that is fine. Just delete it and try launch the game. So game is going to work for you for sure. Next one is all about, we need to try with, we need to allow the game to window security. For that, we just need to go over here. We just need to go over here in the search, go for control panel. Just go over here in the control panel. Just click on system and security. Go for windows defender firewall. Now go for allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall. Now from here, we just need to search for the game. So we need to search for the game. Hence it is an alphabet. Just keep scrolling down and navigate to F. So over here you can see that is forever skies. So over here that is forever skies. So you have to select this one and make sure the private and public both should be checked. That is an important step. Because you know, uh, if the game is not here, we can add it by default. For that we just need to click on change settings. Go for allow another app. Go for browse. Now from here go to this PC. Go to local disk C, program file x86, keep scrolling down, go to Steam, go to Steam apps, go to common. Now from here we have to go to the game. That is we have to go for forever skies, select this one and go for open and go for add. So I'm getting the error because it's already added. So that is why I'm getting the error. So if the game is not here, do not get panic. You can just add the game by like I show how to add it manually that I have demonstrated you. You can do the same. Once after that, just go back and try launch the game. Next one is all about we need to try with unplug all the USB devices. So most of the case, we might be playing the game with multiple monitors, joysticks will be connected and we might be using any other thing, might be Logitech wheels for any other game, might be it's already connected in the USB ports that might cause the issue. So just remove everything from the USB port. Once you remove everything from the USB port, just click on the play button, launch the game. Afterwards, if you wanted to play the game with the controllers, just connect back the controller and launch the game. This did work it for many users, so you can try this out. Even in my knowledge, when I had the issue, I tried this and this is this, this step helped me, so you can try this out. Next one is all about we need to perform a clean boot. For that, we just need to go over here in the search. Go for system configuration. Now go for services. Go for uh, disable all, go for hide all Microsoft services, go for apply and go for OK. That's going to ask you for restart. So those who are watching this, you have to go for restart, which is a mandatory. Uh, I'm here in the middle of video, so I'm going to exit without restart. So go for restart once after that, try launching the game. Next one is all about you can try with disabling the Steam overlay. For that, just go over here, right click and go to properties. Make sure this should be turned off this might be turn it on so turn this off that is an important step launch the game if that is not working go over here and we have to set the language that is the first one we have to give the command that is dx11 give the command dx11 if dx11 is not working change this one to dx12 try any one of this either you can go for dx11 or you can go for dx12 any one of the thing might be working so just go over here and try launch the game Next one is all about, we can go for disabling the steam overlay like I said. The next one is all about, we need to perform, uh, we need to close all the, this one, we need to perform close all the overlay application. For this, what we need to do is we just need to go over here, right click and we have to go to task manager. Now from here, we just need to go over here at the top and if you find the task manager over here. You can see there are many things is running in the background. So all these things are actually utilizing the performance. So that is one of the reason. So if you find anything like, you know, Discord, Riva Tuner, MSA Afterburner, all these are one of the reason. So these are under the category of overlay as well as overclocking application. So they drain out a lot of performance for crashing that's lead us to crashing. So if you find anything over here, 
just delete it that is what you have to do. i mean you have to remove it you have to end the task by selecting it once you remove it try launch the game next one is all about we can try with we can go for rent the day rent the game on the decatur graphics card for that we just need to go over here in the search go over here and we have to go to graphics settings now from here you can see there are many apps running over here so just click on the browse because we need to add the game so if it's not added we can add it by default for that just click on the prime sorry on the browse now go to this pc go to local disk c program file x86 go to steam go to steam apps over here go to common now from here if you find the forever skies over here you will be finding so select this one and add it just go for add so the game is added just click on the option this will be by default let windows decide change this to high performance and go for save once you save this close everything and go back and try launching the game next one is all about we can try with increasing the virtual memory for that we just need to go over here in the search go for view advanced system setting advanced go for settings once again advanced once again go for change this should be blank and select the local disk where the game is installed in my case it is c so i have to select c go for custom size initial size and maximum size initial size is 1.5 times the total ram maximum size is 3 times the total ram so over here go to this calculator so multiply your ram that is 32 gb is the ram so just multiply it with 1024 that brings you this and multiply with 1.5 that brings you 49152 so just paste it and if you're on maximum size you have to go for 32 gb into 1024 that multiply into 3 that brings you 98304 so just paste it as well once you set the value just close everything and we have to move to the next step next step is update the graphics card manually for that we just need to go over here go to the link in the description that i'll be providing both for nvidia i'll be providing the link as well as for the amd the nvidia users just go to this link select every detail like your product type product series product operating system everything and go for start search now from here we just need to keep scrolling down you'll be getting the version 536.23 which is the latest version so just download this one install restart the pc and try launch the game if you're on the amd just go over here select the details go for every details like graphics models of this and select everyone and go for submit if you're on windows 11 download this one if you're on windows 10 you can download this one install restart is a mandatory and launch the game next one you can try with installing the microsoft visual c++ this did work out for many users so i'll be providing link so just go over here and download this one and install restart the pc that is a mandatory and try launch the game even after trying if it's still not working the last and the least one is all about we can try with uninstalling the game and you have to reinstall it back for this we just need to go over here right click and go to manage uninstall the game for reinstalling it back we should not be installing back on the same local disk which is already uninstalled so i'm having the game right now from c if i'm uninstalling i have to reinstall it back on d change the change the position of local disk i mean installing the game that's going to work for you so these are the possible workarounds that you have to try out when you're having an issue with forever skies and if you find this channel helpful don't forget to subscribe see you soon in the next video bye peace out peace out